seriously, the flavor from that seasoning, that moist chicken, the melted cheese, the crispy cheese, that avocado crema, and my fake birra sauce, all adds to this massive flavor explosion. Now this should be illegal. I'm Chewy and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make chicken birria tacos. Now traditional birria tacos are made with goat. I don't have any goat, so I'm using chicken. Now trust me when I tell you that my chicken version is super tasty and ready to eat in under an hour. So sit back, grab a drink or two, and let's get into it. We are gonna need some boneless chicken. Breast or thigh will do. I'm using skinless thighs for this recipe. Why? Because they hold their moisture better and they've got better flavor than breast meat. I'll start by coating all of the pieces with some avocado oil and just rubbing it in. Make sure you do both sides. Then I'm gonna give each thigh a generous coating of this Elk Creek Ultimate Taco Seasoning. Now I like to apply my rub from around about 30 centimeters high. This just allows all the rub particles to separate as they leave the shaker before hitting your meat. This just ensures that we don't get any clumping. And this just ensures that every mouthful is going to be the same. So flip them over and do the other side. Now just pop these into the fridge until we're ready to cook them. Now, I'm gonna make an avocado crema for this recipe. This can be made the day before, just to save a bit of time. It's easy to make, just grab a blender or food processor, and into it we're going to put the flesh out of two halved avocados. Just take the seeds out and put the flesh into a blender. Next up, 300 ml of sour cream. Next up, we want the juice of two limes. Just roll them a bit like that, bit of pressure. It just opens the fibers up, makes it a lot easier to juice them. And I just find these little juices, you tend to get more of the juice out than one of those handheld sort of ones that you squeeze. Just pop the juice in. Next up, bunch of coriander. No, that much. Half a cup, two cloves of minced garlic, half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of salt flakes, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Pop the lid on and give it a good buzz. Pop the lid on and give it a good buzz. Pop the lid on and give it a good buzz. Oh, come on. Pop the lid on and give it a good buzz. <laughs> or not. And then when you find out someone broke your blender, transfer everything to the food processor. Now, fingers crossed, give that a buzz. That's it. Give it a little taste test. Yum. Oh, video's done, that's all we need. That tastes awesome. <laughs> and just transfer it to a sauce bottle. It's just gonna be a little easier to use when you need it later on. Now, birria sauce or broth is usually brewed with the meat all day long. Now, I've seen people calling this broth a consomme. I think far too many are trying to make their food sound fancy and calling it names when they don't actually know what it means. Because consomme is a clear soup. Birria, on the other hand, is a broth. Nothing like a little bit of knowledge every now and then. So let's get to making our broth of yummy goodness. Now that's a fancy name, isn't it? Into a saucepan, we need to put three cups of posada. That quite wasn't enough. And three cups of chicken stock. Oh, five hours later. Half a cup of avocado oil. Tablespoon of chili oil. We're gonna need two onions. And so you don't cry, don't cut the root off. Cut the onion in half. When you cut that root off, the onion can bleed, and that is when you start to cry. Peel the onions, because the outside bit doesn't taste good. Although it is good for darkening gravy, but we're not trying to do that today. Now just finely dice them up, and add the onion to the saucepan. Then add two tablespoons of dried oregano, and two tablespoons of dried 
time. Give that a good pinch of salt flakes and some pepper. Then add that to a medium heat and give it a stir. And we're gonna give it about five to 10 minutes just to warm up and just allow all those flavors to combine. All right, turn the heat off. It's been five minutes. So we can now give the broth a bit of a taste test. And you should always, always test your food as you're cooking it. Oh, I nearly swore then. That is awesome. How easy was that? Nearly as easy as liking this video. Now today, I'm gonna to be using a Weber FT400 grill, and I'll be cooking over high direct heat to char up this chicken. Once you've turned on the liquid charcoal, give the grill 10 minutes to warm up before you apply your chicken. And there's no need to oil the grill, because remember, the chicken has oil on it already. It's been 10 minutes, that grill is hot, we can get our chicken onto it now. Oh, I love that sound. Sizzling means flavor. Look at the color that rub has produced. We just need to keep turning the chicken every five minutes. Oh, look at that color. This smells incredible. Now, it's gonna be around 20 or 30 minutes until this chicken has reached an internal temp of 74 degrees Celsius. When the chicken is ready, we're just gonna get it off the heat, chuck it into a pan, Give it five minutes to rest before we start cutting it up. Today, I'm cooking with a high direct heat. And this whole cook's gonna take anywhere between 35 and 40 minutes all up. Or, for those of you who like to use my beer timer, you're looking at a two beer cook. Cheers. Well, it's time to cut up this chicken. Now I just tend to slice it as thin as I can. There's no real measured thickness. Look at that. How moist is that? Once it's all sliced up, just put it back in the pan and we can start making tacos. Now, we are gonna need some tortillas. Grab some of these corn soft tortillas, they're perfect for the job. We're also gonna need some cheese and this Mexican blend is just perfect. Also some diced onion and our avocado crema and our birra broth or our broth of yummy goodness. What time is it? It's taco time. Now we just need to set up our food station just so we can get everything done and get it done real quick. You're gonna need a pan. Put it on the grill, on the side where you've got no heat. Into that pan goes our broth of yummy goodness. Into that, a ladle, you'll see why. Place our chicken close by. Tortillas next to the broth of yummy goodness. The cheese and the diced onion close by as well. And the avocado crema. You will need a spatula and preferably a beer or two. Okay, so grab the tortillas and place them into the broth of yummy goodness one at a time. Whoa! On just half of each one, put some of our avocado crema. Not too much. Remember, we can have as many of these as we want. Now, some chicken. Again, we do not need to load these up. And they become hard to fold if you do put too much on them. Some onion. Here's the good bit. Ladle a bit of that sauce on. Oh, that is magic, that sauce. Some of the cheese. Now, this is where the magic happens. Using a spatula, and the tortillas are gonna be a little bit soft, a little bit of pressure, until that cheese takes a hold and glues it down. That one's fine. And that one, just hold it there until the cheese gets a hold of it. And just give them a minute on that side. Now what we're going to do is flip them over. Now after that side's had a minute, we can just get them off the grill. Surely you've subscribed to the channel by now. And while you're there, hit that bell notification. That way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Now just top these with a little bit of coriander and a nice squeeze of lime juice. 
Now, excuse me while I dig in. Seriously, the flavor from that seasoning, that moist chicken, the melted cheese, the crispy cheese, that avocado crema, and my fake birra sauce, all adds to this massive flavor explosion. Now this should be illegal. That's it, chicken birra tacos. As always, thanks for watching. Cheers.